Hi everyone and welcome back to the Vauxhall Vivaro van build episode 5 van build number 3. What I'm trying to do is actually cover aspects of the build that I didn't do in van build number 2. So for instance certain parts of the carpeting and also the insulation of the roof. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I'm about to do the carpeting, but before I do the carpeting, a lot of people have asked me about the insulation in the roof and how I do the tongue in groove UPVC roof. And I wanted to cover that first before I actually show you the carpeting itself. Now, when you purchase your four way stretch, I actually get it from Caravans itself. Um, there are a good bunch of guys there. Neil, thanks very much for sorting out the carpet for me. What I would say is you need to order more than one big roll for a long wheelbase Vauxhall Vivaro. Well, I do anyway. Um, so I have to order, I think it's a 10 metre roll as well as a 5 metre roll. So that's 15 metre rolls in total. They don't do a 15 metre roll, so you have, to, you have to order it separately. Now, when you order it online with Caravans, it does actually state it's best to order the 10 metre and the 5 metre roll at the same time. And the reason for that is, is that they have different batch numbers, which means there could be a variation in the colour itself. You need to check this when you order your rolls, because I did actually order a 5 metre and a 10 metre together. Sadly, they were completely different colours. So Neil, thanks very much for sorting out the issue with that. But... Please guys, check it. Please order enough in the first instance for your van because you could find that there would be a slight variation. And as I'm so particular um, with my van conversions, as you've probably already noticed, I, I wouldn't like that having two different colour carpets in the van. So order, all, order it all together. The other part of it is, is this isn't an advert for Kiravans, uh, sadly not. Um, Kiravans, uh, you do a, an, your own spray adhesive. Um, sadly, I've got to say that your spray adhesive cans seem to be half empty and you tend to go through that quite quickly. So you end up having to order more. You would anyway, if you're doing 15 metres or 12 metres, I think it ends up working out. So you would have to order more anyway, but you have to order a lot so more. I order from Amazon Trimfix adhesive. It's cheaper and it, it, it works really well. Um, it's heat uh, resistant as well. And so therefore it's great for your four way stretch carpet. Right, let's get on with it. So I'm going to carpet from this corner here and I'm gonna take it all the way across in one go. So you need to obviously get your tape measure out and measure the full length of your band. I'm also going to probably carpet from here, which you're not going to see, I know, but I'm going to carpet from here, down, and past here, the rib here, and past the bodywork to here. Now, a lot of people have said to me, do I carpet the entire Reflectix? The answer to that is on the panelled area, no. You don't need to, because you will be putting a ply panel up against here with carpet on. But what I do do is that I pass the point where when the ply board fits up against like so. Probably better if I explain it like this. I go about an inch past. So when you do put your panel up with carpet, you're getting a really nice finish. Now, so I'm going to carpet first of all. Then I use Celotex 50 mil insulation in the ceiling itself between these gaps here and here all the way along the roof. 50 mil fits just nicely just where the rib on the highest point measures 50 mil. Then what you're going to do is that you're going to cut or you, it's up to you. Once you've carpeted done, then you put your 50 mil Celotex insulation in. You're then going to tape everything again. That's right, you're going to use silver reflective tape and you're going to tape everything. Then what you're going to do is five inch width piece of ply, which runs from this side of the van to the other side of the van. Five, five inches is about right. That fits nicely between your insulation and 
the ribs itself. You fix them using silicon as well as self tapper screws. Okay, so you've got self tapper screws in the highest point of your rib. Please don't try and do it in the, uh, the lowest part of the rib because if you do that, what will happen is, is that the screws will probably go up through your ceiling or your roof. So make sure that you go into the highest point of your rib and fix it with your self tapper screws like so and inside here like so as well. Be careful on the third rib because you have some cables there. Carpet, Celotex, rib, ply, and then you're going to again tape it, the ply to the Celotex as well. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to put your tongue in groove and fix it to the ply all the way along your bodywork. Now you can fix that with staples as well as silicon. And I'll show you that in another video. But that's the idea. That's where you, what you're looking for. A really nice tidy fit, snug fit with the carpet as well as your ply board with the carpet going over the top here. And that's the type of finish you're looking for. So let's get on with it. Let's do the carpeting along this rib here and around the back here as well. Okay, let's have a look where we've got to so far. So all the way along in one piece to the end. And then I've also gone around the window with one piece, one complete piece. And that also includes going down where the electrics are gonna go as well. Um, I've also gone onto the back side of that. Don't worry, you can see some glue. I'll show you how to get the glue off if you get any glue onto the carpet quite easy just to use a tiny little bit of petrol um, on a rag and it will clean it off no problem at all so that's the first part and as you can see I've gone into the area of the panel um, where the ply board will butt up so effectively the ply board's going to butt up to here and around here so you're not going to see any of this anyway but like I said, I like to take it all the way in because when you're looking from this side, you can actually see the carpet. So you want it finished off nicely. So that's the first part. Still got the um, wheel arch to do and around the doors, which I'm going to do now. <laughs> With all aspects of carpeting your van, just take your time because this is the most important part of the build on a visual aspect, as far as I'm concerned anyway. So make sure you get the carpeting right, take your time and just follow the easy steps. Using a good quality four-way stretch is the way forward to getting a really good finish. Okay, so first of all, when doing your wheel arch, Let's just do and concentrate on the centre line of your wheel arch. Make sure that your carpet reaches both sides. And let's start in the middle. 